I'll start with, uh, well, for those who don't know what iText is, iText is all about creating PDFs, uh, not manually, but through a program we've written, either in Java or C Sharp, and we use as input uh, data from a database or XML, or we use an existing PDF and we stamp stuff on, or we uh, use an existing PDF and we merge it with database data. That's what iText is about in one slide. Now, uh, you could use iText in desktop applications, so you, you create an application and the output is PDF, but originally, iText was created to be used in web applications. So iText was first released in the year 2000, and back then there wasn't really uh, a tool that allowed you to create PDFs in a fast way, uh, serve them to a browser. Uh, PDF was mostly something from, for the desktop. And so what we typically, typically see is uh, that people have a server with uh, .NET on or a server with a Java virtual machine and they code in C Sharp, they code in Java, Groovy, Scala and they serve PDFs to the browser of an end user. Now, back in 2000 that was new. In the meanwhile, a lot of competitors and uh, colleagues have started creating their own libraries um, and that's a good thing. But we're looking ahead and we're looking now at what about mobile devices? What about serving PDFs to your phone? Does that make sense? Creating PDF on your phone, does that make sense? Probably not, but why not try it? And tablets, of course, uh, uh, there's a talk about the iPad in the afternoon. I'm going to talk about uh, Android tablets. And then uh, that's one aspect. Another aspect we've been looking at, or we will be looking at, is uh, cloud services. So instead of saying, okay, I want to create a PDF, so I'm going to create this PDF on that server, uh, you're no longer interested in where is the PDF created. You just want to, for instance, send the PDF, send the string, and then one of these servers in the cloud will return a PDF that is watermarked with your string. So um, it's a different approach and uh, we may need to adapt iText to uh, work in, in uh, such an environment. Now, uh, if we talk about devices, uh, does it make sense to create PDF on a device, yes or no? Let's look at online versus local. Online PDF generation, what do we see? Our customers, we've already talked about invoices. You, you, you buy something in a web store and uh, you get an invoice in PDF and the invoice is, for instance, created by uh, iText or we fly to the States using KLM, uh, we register, we get a boarding pass, iText is used to create uh, the boarding pass. Bank statements, your site statistics, output from a web app. It doesn't even have to be a PDF. For instance, Faber and Faber, that's a publisher of books. They have a lot of books that are out of print and you want that book that is out of print. Well, you can order it and uh, using iText, they, they create a nice PDF and then they print the book on demand. Uh, so all of this remains on the server, but when does it make sense to create PDF locally? Well, if you have a desktop application and you need PDF output, okay. But then digital signatures, that's, that's when you really need to do stuff on the client side. Because if I sign, for instance, if I, if I sign a document with my EID, it has a private key on it, uh, it would be very insecure if, it was, if I was able to, to send my private key to a server and then let the document sign there. That's, that's, <laughs> that's nonsense. That's, that's, that's not going to happen. Um, it's also a, a, a good idea to create PDFs locally for private data. For instance, my phone here, uh, I have a call log on my phone and I have a, a calls to PDF application where I can just click on a select, for instance, uh, a person with who I've had phone conversations. I can click on a button and a PDF is created with the log showing me with who I, uh, who I called with. Photos or scans, that's also something that you may want to do locally because a cloud service where you make a photo album, will you send megabytes and megabytes of images to a server and then get even more gigabytes of, of PDF uh, in return? No, I, I'll show you uh, an example of uh, an Android application where 
uh, all the pictures that are taken with my tablet are made are, are uh, integrated in a, a, a simple photo album using uh, iText, creating a PDF with all those photos. Offline use, well, uh, another thing where we, you would want to use iText is suppose that, that you're a salesman and you, you go from customer to customer and they, they, they book orders with you and uh, you want to fill out a purchase order and maybe sign it, well, uh, what happens if you are offline? Maybe in the States you, you don't, you, you're not, you, you, well, it happens with me. When I go to Brussels, for instance, I depend on my phone to, to find my way and then suddenly I don't have a connection and I'm totally lost. So what we could use iText for is to, to fill out forms on a tablet, save them as PDF and use the document as a data container. So iText for my mobile, does it make sense? Maybe, but maybe not, but let's make an Android port anyway, because it's not that difficult to do it. Mm -hmm.